Chicago's growing gun violence is front and center at a hearing today, and that violence is more than just a local problem. Megan Dwyer is live at the Dirksen Federal Building now with more. Megan? Senator Dick Durbin led this meeting this morning. Uh, they focused on how to combat gun violence, specifically here in Chicago and targeting gun trafficking laws. The big takeaway was that Congress probably needs to get involved and there needs to be more coordination between federal agencies. This is not just about numbers. It's about real people, real lives. It's about funerals and young lives taken too soon and empty chairs at the dinner table for the families they leave behind. The panel met with lawmakers at the federal courthouse this morning. The U.S. Attorney, the CDC, and the Chicago Police Department all key players in this discussion. As 2021 shapes up to be one of the worst years for deadly violence in the city's history, Durbin says he called the meeting to help nail down what exactly key federal agencies are doing to get a handle on it so they can coordinate efforts to ensure the public safety. He says new homicide records have been set all over the country this year, not just here in both red and blue states alike. But here in Chicago, there are fewer cops because of retirement and COVID. In Cook County, more than 4,000 people have been shot this year. While the violence is concentrated in about 15 neighborhoods, no place is immune. Today, leaders said Chicago is awash in guns and they are largely coming from other states. Today, Durbin really pushed the U.S. Attorney's Office on why there haven't been more straw purchaser prosecutions, calling it just a bookkeeping keeping issue. He wanted to know from the ATF why the Chicago office is doing so few field inspections of gun shops compared to other offices throughout the United States. And he was really concerned about ghost guns. Those are guns that cannot be traced. In Chicago alone this year, police have recovered four times more ghost guns than they did just last year. Today, Chicago Police Superintendent David Brown said his officers have pulled a total of 12,000 guns off the streets of Chicago this year, more than any other year in history, but more needs to be done, especially in the courts. More consequences are needed and more work around trauma. Harsher penalties for straw purchasers and gun traffickers will send a message. The problem of gun violence in Chicago is not a local problem, but a national problem. Senator Durbin says he does have legislation in the works to make consequences stricter for straw purchasers. Uh, we also heard today about gun shops in neighboring states like Indiana and Wisconsin really contributing to what we're seeing here on the streets of Chicago. One gun that was stolen in a, a, a smash and grab in Wisconsin was actually linked to 27 shootings here in Chicago. Also today, one of the really personal anecdotes coming from Danny Davis. Congressman said his grandson son was killed because of a gun. He said he normally doesn't open up about the personal uh, issue that his family has faced, but he said without a gun being available, likely his grandson would still be alive. We're live in the loop. Megan Dwyer, WGN News.